In this Madden 22 tip, I'm going to show you what I would argue is one of the best man coverage schemes in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask that you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're talking about the nickel 245 odd for multiple different reasons. One of those is the fact that it has this cover one robber press defense, which I would argue with anyone is one of the best man coverage schemes in Madden. And I'm going to show you how to run this um, against the Gun Bunch meta offense, and the, as well as a couple of other things that we're going to walk you through uh, in this video. But what I love about this uh, play is it's not only a good coverage defense, actually a great pressure defense as well, um, or something we can use to kind of create uh, some passive uh, pressure at the quarterback. And so we're just going to walk you through how I like to set this defense up. Now, I do want to let you know real quickly, if you're not a member of the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to do that. Basically, what that is, is it's my membership site. It's a place where you can get exclusive content. It's also the place where you can get every Madden 22 ebook that I have and every Madden 22 ebook that I'll release in the future. Pretty much every week, we put out update videos and different things within the Patreon membership for you guys a couple different times a week. We also release new ebooks. I've got a bunch in the works right now. So, the point is, if you want to get everything, all my content for one price, just 10 bucks a month join the patreon there'll be a link in the description below this 245 odd we're going to talk about today is in there the triples in there the 335 wheels in there the 335 wide the dime um i think the dime uh rush is in there so there's a lot of really really good content in there so anyways if you want to sign up for it ten dollars a month there's a link in the description uh let's talk about cover one robber now uh, okay so cover one robber and and this is one of the things that i love about the 245 odd um, kind of two key things. The first thing is that it is um, equipped with some of the best blitzing packages that you can have. Um, you can very easily create pressure out of this. Literally all you need to do is just crash your line to the right. You're going to kind of user this guy right in here. And what you should see here is oftentimes, you see how he came off. Obviously they did block the running back, but you see how he came off the edge. Very, very effective. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this is let's say, for example, that you spread your linebackers. Well, now they can't necessarily roll out on you either. So um, you're going to have great contain from this formation. And what you'll see again here is you can get this kind of edge pressure off the edge. So in that regard, it's one of the best defenses in Madden. The other thing that I want to quickly hit on is this guy right here, Judon. That can actually be a middle linebacker um, in your depth chart. So what I like to do with the Patriots here is I'm gonna take Judon and I'm actually gonna put a guy that could play some coverage like Dante Hightower for example. He could cover the running back or cover his own or something like that. Well now when I come out in this, this cover one robber, not only do I have great edge pressure, a, a great three man uh, kind of base rush in this kind of concept right here, but I also have this guy who can kind of either play a hard flat to stop quick flat routes, a purple zone to stop out routes, even put him in a vertical hook, right? But he can do a lot of stuff. And then I'm going to blitz my user over the middle of the field just like so. And then if I wanted to, I could bluff blitz the defensive tackle here. But this just allows me to get a really nice little pass rush. But notice that this three rec hook defender is one of the best zones in the entire game. You're going to see that he's going to rob over the middle, take away those crossing routes like trail routes and um, some of that stuff. So as a user defender, you know, this is where I think this is just kind of a really uh, incredible defense because you have a lot of freedom in the sense that your responsibility really gets kind of simple if you think about it. Um, you know, you could even do something like this where you man Dante Hightower up on the tight end, drop that guy into a middle third if you wanted a little bit more kind of a safety net. And then what you'll see here, here's your coverage, you get great pressure. And I mean, you're basically working to defend shallow crossers within the formation. Now, I wanted to kind of spend just a quick second here um, talking about a concept that I mentioned yesterday, and that's the idea of taking um, this defender right here, Van Noy, and throwing him into a bluff blitz. So what we can do with this is if we crash our line up, we're going to get a pretty good two-man rush from our edge guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bluff blitz the defensive or the linebacker on the left side. You see that's going to put him in that three-rack hook zone. And then we're going to go ahead and drop the quarterback uh, or the nose tackle into a quarterback spy to prevent or to try to help with rollouts. 
and what you're going to see is these coverages work very, very effectively. And you're just going to have a lot of people in the middle of the field taking away those slants and those post routes and some of those crossing routes. Um, combine that with the fact that, I mean, you could even do something like this where you take this guy, throw him in a purple, um, you know, kind of do what I said with that bluff blitz trick, specifically against Gun Bunch. It's very effective. And then you could do something like this where now, you know, you kind of have the whole middle of the field bag and you're just mainly taking any kind of skinny post over the middle. You've got that bunch side taken care of with that purple. And this is how you're going to be able to put yourself in a position where you can actually realistically, um, you know, play really, really good defense with this. And, and it's really not, um, it's really not that many adjustments. Um, literally, you're not doing anything to your coverage. The coverage, I mean, I like to press the coverage, but outside of that, there's really nothing else that you need to do. Um, but you'll notice here, like, if I wanted to blitz, like, let's say I wanted to blitz the linebacker and I wanted to have contain, I could go ahead and blitz that linebacker, have good contain, and then I could bluff blitz the defensive end, Judah, on there, and then I could QB spy that defense tackle. Still have those edge rush angles that are really good uh, in this game. And then what you're going to notice here is if I were to just kind of go to some of these standard passing concepts, you're going to see very, very good coverage across the board. And it's just not, you know, not super easy to uh, to, to get anything open against. So um, this is a defense that I've been using a lot. I really think, um, you know, one of the beauties of this as well is in the fact that if we want to, like, let's say we notice that they start to, um, let's say that they, we notice that they start to block their running back. Well, now what we can do is kind of blitz our linebacker off the left edge there, um, and as well as that B-gap linebacker. And now what you're going to notice is a blocked running back typically isn't going to pick this up, and you're still going to have pretty darn good, pretty doggone good um, coverage across the board. So this is just one of my favorite coverages in the game right now. If you want to, you can bring this guy down, put him in this three wreck, and you can kind of kind of do something like this. I think this is a great little front right here. Um, it's going to help you against the run, and then you're also going to have this has been one of the best defenses all year, low key. Most people don't know or haven't utilized it, but it has been very, very effective. So I wanted to do a video on it. I want to thank you for watching today's video. I also want to let you know that if you want to learn my entire 245 odd defense, or if you want to just learn uh, all of my stuff, I've got everything over at the Patreon. You get access to all of it for just $10 a month. All the updates, everything we're going to do. I'm actually dropping two new defenses today, or new defensive videos today. Uh, talking about some match coverage that you can kind of mesh with man coverage. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, um, I really encourage you to sign up. It's just $10 a month, and you can cancel whatever you want. So if you're still watching the video, chances are you might be interested. So head on down to the description and uh, click the link that I put down there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.